Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see how we can create a dynamic system to log in with any kind of social website, whether it is Facebook, Twitter, or Google, anything. We doesn't have to create many routes or many functions for each one. With that, I'm your host Sarthak, and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So if you are new to Socialite, you can download Socialite to your project by using this documentation or you can watch my other videos on Socialite for Facebook, Twitter and Google. Okay, so if you have completely installed Socialite on your project, then you will have these kind of functions here like I have here and this app secret and app IDs for each one. I have this for Twitter only but we will get for everything. So let's just go here and let's see what we want. So just open web.php file. We want to have a route which can get any kind of social networking website name. So here it is Twitter. So if I want a Facebook here, I want to say Facebook. But instead of this, what I will do, I will create this as a service. Okay, so when I provide here login slash Facebook, then service variable will get the name of Facebook. So here also I will provide service here. So obviously when I go to login slash like this login slash Facebook, then this service variable will get the Facebook string and this string will pass to this redirect to provider function which is here on the login controller and you can see it's it now accept this service variable from the route and instead of Twitter I will say again service Okay, similarly, we can give dollar service here also in our callback function. Okay, so service here and I think it's done. We don't have to do anything more. So let's do, let's check this for Twitter quickly and then we will check it for Google and Facebook also. So let's go to Chrome and go to 127.0.0.1 slash login slash twitter and let's see what we are getting so yes we are getting the name that means it's fine let's try to return email instead of name so i will say get email and go back again one to sevens then not master login slash twitter and let's see what we are getting we are getting nothing why because we have to make changes in our twitter app we have created so let's open apps.twitter.com so for opening that i will use safari so here it is and I will say apps.twitter.com and I have this one so now what I will do here I will say uh, on the permissions I will see, go here and I will check this checkbox request email address from user and now I update settings so let's see what we are getting and it says permission is granted this is because obviously you have to fill the callback privacy and terms of condition URL if you don't have these then you will not get permission for getting the email so now I have updated my permissions on my Twitter app now let's go to Chrome again go back try one more time and let's see what we are getting so authorizing app okay 
and uh, yes we are getting the email so that's very nice let's do this for Facebook also but as we know we don't have anything for Facebook so let's try this and let's see what error we are getting so here is some error which says app parameter app underscore ID is required so obviously we does not have any service here on our services dot PHP so we have to create it so for that I will go to developer dot Facebook dot com open the socialite app I have created in my first episode of this social login then go to settings copy this app ID from here and create a new service by copy paste okay and then Facebook here app ID is this and now the app secret so password submit this and now we have the app secret copy this from here and paste it here now the callback will be obviously here as Twitter doesn't like localhost, likewise Facebook doesn't like 127.0.0.1. So we must have provide the login system for Facebook as localhost colon 8000. So while we checking Facebook, we are going to check it via localhost. And while we checking Twitter, we will check it via 127.0.0.1. Okay. So this is for Facebook, likewise for Google, Google also. So Google and we have to go to console.developers.google.com and obviously we have created this apps and we just want the app ID and secrets. So go here, copy this from here and paste it here similarly the secret and it is here now you can see we have given here socialite so instead of socialite let's give localhost here colon 8000 similarly here also so that's nice and now save it let's save and yes we have saved it so we have saved here also and that's nice but this is different not twitter so google that's very nice so let's try for facebook and we know for facebook we have to go via localhost so localhost slash login slash Facebook and we are getting the email that's very nice now try with Google so Google oops we have to go from localhost slash instead of Facebook it will be Google so Google and it says asking for this and yes so in the three cases we are getting the exact email now we have to save this email to our database so that we can create our login system for that i will close these things and now i will open my login controller and here on the login controller just after we are getting the every information of the user then we have to create a login but before creating login we have to save the data of our data our user into our database so for that I have to connect my project to the database and I have already connected so that's nice thing now go here and try to create a new user is equal to new and the model name so next thing is new user arrow email is equal to user get email so get email and similarly for name so instead of email I will type name and get 
name now the most important thing is that we obviously have to provide the password and obviously the password will be bcrypted so bcrypt of one two three four five six okay so now it will be password and i think that's it we don't have to do anything more so user save now it's saved so that's a nice thing so that's it we are we have done this part so after that we want to return redirect to home page so return redirect to home now this home page is not available yet so for that we have to run php artisan make auth command so after this it will create this home page inside resources views and you can see now home.blade.php is there and this page is only accessible when you are logged in so obviously we have to create the login system so auth login and new user so that's it so now delete this let's try to log in with any one of this we have so localhost login slash let's try with google so google that's great and yes it says auth user not found what is this controller auth user controller auth user in which line in line login controller on 59 okay so i think we have not imported this at the top so i will use control shift and p php companion package for sublime if you are not familiar with php companion you can check out this link in the description okay so use it and that's nice let's try to refresh oops we have to go again yes it says abstract provider okay obviously because for google we need a stateless here so stateless okay so that's it go back let's try again and it says auth not found so okay so again auth we have this one go back again try one more time okay so we have duplicate entry for bitfumes at gmail.com this is because we already have this user with email id of bitfumes so let's open this test database users you can see we have this so if we found the user already in our database we have to restrict the new user creation so for that we first have to find user so i will use i will say user where email is equal to user get email if this is so first and now if i found this user so that means find user has some value then i am not going to create the new user i am going to just create the login system so i will say here login but it's not a new user it's a find user else what i have to do i have to create the new user and then create the login obviously in both cases after login we have to redirect to the home page so let's go again let's try this one more time and yes we are logged in as bitfumes but let's try to log in with facebook now the problem here let's see what the problem we are getting oh no problem that's very nice so logged out let's try with twitter and we know for twitter we need on the local host 127.0 type thing and twitter 
and yes now the problem is stateless word which is here for facebook and for google it's fine but for twitter we don't need any stateless word here so what i will do i will say again if service is equal to twitter then move this line and remove this stateless word from here otherwise else we will just use this stateless thing so let's do it again give it a shot private 127 login with twitter and let's see what happened yes we are logged in as bitfumes again so you can see it's very very useful thing so in this way we are having login with facebook twitter and google with only one route and some simple functions i think it's not so simple but <laughs> simple function and if you want you can use github obviously linkedin also and you can find the whole project on github and the link is provided in the description and if you are following me on facebook twitter and instagram you will get the link on these platforms also so if you have any problem feel free to comment me if you have any problem in your project feel free to comment me you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram as at bitfumes and if you have any doubt please you can email me also share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel and we will meet in the next episode with some new steps till then goodbye